back to the channel everybody, it's Mark from Cricket Bat Info and today we're having a look at a Mids Legacy, straight after this. Okay, so this bet's been sent in by John Owen from Brisbane and what we've got here is his Mids Legacy for the 2020 Queensland Premier League, I think he's grade 2 or 3. But this is the bat he'll be uh, using in that, and it's actually a T20 design. Uh, it's made by Mids, which I have reviewed before. I'll leave links in the description. And firstly, let's talk about the length of the blade. So I've got the 85 centimeters overall and a blade length of 53, meaning it's two and a half centimeters shorter on the blade than a regular bat. And probably, I'd say maybe it's a centimeter shorter overall sure when I measure the bats that come out about 86 but you can uh, tell me if I'm wrong there so the bat here it says three stars here and what I'm guessing this is probably a grade 3 blade specifically for t20 use so it doesn't really matter on how good the grains are because you're going to be playing that sort of swashbuckling uh, game hitting at balls that you wouldn't do in regular cricket more chance of damage more risk so why play with a much more expensive bat uh, you can see here by the bat, and before you say anything, this is definitely English Willow. It's just got some false growth in it on the grains. I'll pick that up and show it to you under the camera. And you've got probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grains across the face. And the false growth I'm referring to are these areas where it's really hot and it stops growing for a while and then picks up again so you get like a dark line down it. It's quite interesting how it's like that. But I have had it checked with a person who knows all about Willow. Um, that's the shape and what you've got here is a mid-low profile with that spine going all the way down into the toe. The dimensions aren't massive for it um, but it's designed spe specifically for a purpose which is just to go out and smash the ball, uh, attack it, uh, not let the ball bounce. Um, just really try and get your foot to it and murder it. So we've got here the gauge and hopefully that's all nice and easy to read. And you can see here on the gauge that we've got a 37 mil edge. Top edge near the shoulder is 17.2. Just up here, it does look a little bit narrow it's 34.5 though, I have seen narrower. The toe edge is 19.2, so that's not too bad. And the center of the toe, we are looking at 30 mil, just over. As far as the spine goes, just touch that down there and measure that up for you. So it's just on 60 mil. The profile shape itself has got concaving on it. You can see that there. There's probably a couple of mil of concave there on both sides. Making sure that's in the camera. And you can see that spine heading down into the toe. Don't know whether you can see that on camera. Looks like it's just been dropped. Uh, and there's a tiny little bit of a dent or something in the bottom of the toe there. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, as far as the looks of the bat, not talking about the grains, it does have this uh, blue on clear sticker, um, which is all the way through and really full on on the back. But I do like the fact that because it's clear on the back, you can still see the wood uh, through the back. Um, look, it's, it's, it definitely stands out. As far as the grip goes, it does have this sort of whiteness to it and sometimes I sort of associate rubber grips like this uh, with ones that will uh, run in your gloves but I look I did actually try with um, my cloth off camera to try and see if I could rub any of the blue onto it and I couldn't actually manage it so I'm not 100% sure it just doesn't have a really clean look about the the grip itself the the one of the criticism I have had with mids in the past is do these stickers chip because they use like a clear uh, laminate onto the front um, like an acrylic 
layer. And I have noticed that that's, this has still got that uh, about it as far as the uh, embossing. And that means that it could potentially chip and come off. Um, it wouldn't do so on the back, I can't imagine. No, but it doesn't look too bad. I, I'm not too fussed about it as far as looks go. There's some sort of weird sort of plasticky thing. It's like they've put some tape over here because they know that these can catch when you're pulling them in and out of the the uh, bag. And on the, the bag itself, uh, it is a full length cover. And if I can show that to you, that's got that black uh, lining material. Sometimes I get a, real, a bit worried with this stuff that um, if something is wet, the black can come off on it. Now, yeah, I can't create that, but just be wary of that. If you put bats in covers when they're still oily, it can leach the color from the inside of your covers onto the bat. As far as the handle goes, uh, it's a really obvious semi-oval feel here with a definite ridge running down here, but it doesn't actually run through here. I was curious. I pulled back the grip and found that um, what was actually under there was just uh, the binding and it's actually been shaped that way. And, and the reason they're doing that is because they know you're going to be holding it up high. You're not going to be strangling the, the, the neck of it. Um, so it does have a semi-oval feel to it. It's uh, probably medium thickness uh, towards... Yeah, medium thickness. It's not, it's not thin by any stretch. And under the grip, you've got four cork inserts. So as far as pickup goes with this bat, it feels like 2.7. It is really light and it's really aided by that extra short blade. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about with short blades, I've done a little uh, B-roll which I'll put up now where I've actually compared four bats with this bat at the front. And I've run the camera along to try and show you the overall length of the bat at the uh, bats and where the shoulders meet up. So generally they'll all be roughly the same length. Short blade basically uh, creates a longer lever for you to pick up with, creating the sensation of a light feel and that's exactly. The um, feel is 2.7, but what does it actually weigh? And it weighs, Two point eight eight. Uh, so it's yeah, it's generally picking up lighter than its actual feel, and it's a decent weight for twenty twenty. Gives you that bat speed. Remembering this guy's going to be facing uh, much quicker bowling than you would see in your general uh, local cricket club type things. This is more district level, so he needs the bat speed, but he's also got that swell down here in that mid low position to really attack it. And if he ends ends up getting on something a little bit too low on the bat, he's still got that um, spine heading down into the toe to create some power. So let's tap it up. So obviously nothing there right at the toe. And immediately I can feel something because of that spine letting down to the toe. Going really well there in a mid-low position. Up into mid, still got plenty. And it's still actually got a fair bit happening in that sort of area there. So this is your hitting area and it's very nice. I do apologize for the weather. I've had to get this done during the day and I've got traffic coming past. I can hear a little bit of rain on the roof as well. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is the Mids Legacy. And uh, thank you very much to Jono from Brisbane for sending that down. Uh, I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments of the video. Uh, what did you like? Whether you've used mids? So uh, I'm always reading those comments and I do reply. If you like what I do, please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. Until we see each other again, Mids Legacy.